Welcome to She Represents. I'm Jazzy, and my guest this week is Calliope Pappas. She has a, a, a food truck, and it's called Greek Girl Goodies. Uh -huh. Tell me all about it. Well, we um, decided back in 2016 that, um, with the help of my fiance Chartellis, that we are going to have a food truck. Okay. I was always uh, around Greek food. And I was always contemplating, you know, what to do, what to do, go back to school, do this. I said, and he says, why don't you, you grew up around um, Greek food. You grew up in Greece. I was born and raised in Greece. Mm -hmm. um, and just centered around the whole Mediterranean food. Yes. And we just decided, hey, let's just get a food truck and just spread the love okay. of the Mediterranean. Yes, yeah, so yeah. your food truck has already gotten a lot of notoriety just for being such a good food truck and the food that you serve is so good. It was already featured in the Dallas Morning Business uh, section and of course we have you featured today uh -huh. on She Represents. But I want to talk about the food. Why is everybody talking about your food? Because it's authentic. Okay. We have, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of restaurants, uh, not just here in Dallas, but around in the U.S. where where there's a concentration of a certain cultural group. Mm -hmm. The bigger the group, mm -hmm. the more authentic the food is. That's why you get, like down here in Dallas, there's not that many Greek people, mm -hmm. so you don't get a lot of like authentic Greek cuisine. Mm -hmm. um, so like New York, Chicago, you know, California, Los Angeles, uh, Florida, you get a, more of actual food what is with the spices or it's supposed to taste like so here because there's not that many of us mm -hmm. I'm like you know I'm gonna I'm gonna start a little staple going here forward um, in the Dallas area we use a lot of uh, natural ingredients our food consists of just it's it's very simple ingredients very organic um, olive oil our meats are very natural um, you know, we've got pita bread. We use a lot of vegetables, Greek mm. salads, grilled meat. Okay. So we, it's it's really good Greek authentic food. Okay, so Kalaji, if I went to your food truck and I said, okay, here is Greek girl goodies. What should I get? What is the specialty? Um, the thing that we sell the most is obviously the gyro. Okay. So from that, we... I've been saying it wrong all the time. I said gyro. <laughs> it's okay. It's, okay. <laughs> it's across the board. Everybody <laughs> says it. If we know what you mean. When you come to order it, when you say it, whatever you say, it, we're going to get you a gyro. Okay. Um, it's, uh, the, our main, uh, main dish is a gyro. Okay. So from that, what spawned was the gyro fries, which are to gyro die for. Fries. Mm -hmm. Which is like uh, fries, and then we put the gyro meat, and then we put the the the, the Greek sauce, the tzatziki sauce, okay. onions, tomatoes, mm. and feta. It's they're so good. It sounds delicious. It's really good. Um, so tell me, what makes Greek food different from other food? That's a good question. Um, our spices. Okay because there's a lot of restaurants here and everywhere else in the US that they, they are um, Arabic uh, restaurants. But because a lot of people aren't familiar with the spices um, of those cultures, they, they call it Mediterranean. Mediterranean mm -hmm. cuisine for us as Greeks, um, and also the Italians, the Spaniards, it's a lot of olive oil, we, uh, onions, tomatoes, uh, oregano, uh, garlic those are the main main ingredients for everything I know like um, when I make food for um, Chartellis he's used to southern cooking okay so his mom will makes like greens absolutely you know? now now you're talking my yes talk. yes <laughs> they, she, we go to his for Thanksgiving and, and they'll make greens so I'm looking at the greens yeah. you guys as a culture have a certain you know things that you make with your greens right. well I didn't I wasn't familiar so when he comes home and I'm like oh I make greens he's like all excited uh -huh. and the only thing he sees in the greens is like olive oil salt and lemon <laughs> because that's not how we make greens that's, ham like, <laughs> no, that's a whole different story he tells me so based on that he goes to me we his mom he goes go and get ham hock yeah I thought it was hog so oh. I go to Whole Foods and I'm like excuse me sir can, where can I get ham hock and he gets, he's like, we, you mean ham hog? I'm like, yes, yes, yes. So they gave me the thing and I came home and I made it and it was very, it, it was pretty good. Okay. So it's just, but that's, that's the main ingredients. And, you know, just 
we don't eat a lot of meat. Okay. Um, as a culture, we do a lot of seafood mm. and, you know, lamb and, and stuff like that. But we do, you know, when we do have, um, like, red meat, it's, we're, we're not a nation of um, red meat eaters. I see, I see. Yeah. So you have your food truck. How long have you had it? Since 2016. Okay. And where are you located for the most part if someone wanted to, like, go check you out? Okay. We, um... We have a lot of venues, like for instance, we were in the AT&T Stadium. Yes. We have shows, like when they do like um, the Beyonce concert, mm -hmm. you know, games, they have us going on a schedule there. We do, uh, we did some Texas Motor Speedway, we did, um, we're in Dallas, Truck Yard, Frisco, Truck Yard, um, Dr. Pepper Center. Oh. And then buildings invite us, like I different see. buildings are in Fort Worth in Dallas so you know they invite us and they either pay for like the company if it's a huge company they'll pay for their employees to mm -hmm. eat or just the employees will come down and, and they'll come and, purchase yes, lunch and they, or something and they, like yes. that what made you decide to get into the food industry and not get a restaurant but go with the food truck route um cost okay okay because to open a restaurant with no um there's an 80 20 failure rate in oh. restaurants so to open up a restaurant it's very difficult you know they you know banks look at you like okay have you done food before and you know you need a base where the bank can see hey she's working you know the food truck which is the food truck also is not that cheap to get it's mm -hmm. very very expensive mm -hmm. to put a you can go get like a a, you know like a, a used food truck but you're gonna have issues you know it breaks down and when the truck breaks down you have no income right so you know we we you know we it, it was a huge process to go get a truck we brought the truck in from California mm -hmm. and then just to put the right equipment and there's a lot of it's also very dangerous to have a food truck mm -hmm. there's a lot of gases you know you have propane diesel the gas for the thing so and there's fire inside mm -hmm. so it's very very intricate work to to run you know a food truck it's mm -hmm. safer to have a restaurant right you know than to have a food and it's a it, and it's a lot of work you know it's different when you go open the door and walk into even if you have a little place like a restaurant and it's difficult it's it's difficult to to have a truck you know you have to get up in the morning you got to go get the food because right. there's limited refrigeration you, right. and then it has to be at certain temperatures um, and just unplugging, plugging, starting the generator. It's a, it's, it's, it's a process. But it, I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it because when you get to wherever we're getting, just the people, mm -hmm. you know, it's, you know, the people that we, you know, we see a lot of people. Yeah. They love the food. They come back, you know, when they put a great review on, yeah. on my, it's, I, you know, that's, that takes away. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to check out. Uh, your food truck you're gonna come back for the whole we, company yes so we're gonna come back as it. soon as i get the truck because it's a maintenance but okay. as soon as i come back as soon as i get it back i'm gonna come here and i'm gonna you guys can pick out whatever you want from the truck okay and we'll do lunch well that's gonna be absolutely wonderful and you know before i let you go what advice do you have for other women out there who want to pursue their dream of whatever it may be but may be a little scared because they um, maybe work in corporate America or they do something else and they're afraid to leave their steady income job to do something that they love and pursue their passion? Uh, that's a great question and you're asking somebody who was one of those women. Mm -hmm. Again, our cultural culture is very, um, it's very demanding, it's very set. So we, as growing up, you know, um, we don't know how it is. Like, we don't know how set we are until we come out and see how, you know, things really are. Right. So we're just usually, like, at home, you know, either under a father or a husband or whatever. So we have our little, you know, places. You know, it's not that they don't let us, you know, we get educated. Right. Away, but we just, ha we, we have a certain place. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have a certain place as women. It's not until things happen in your life that you either sit back and feel sorry for yourself mm -hmm. or you go and you move along you're like you know what i'm gonna do it there's when somebody has nothing to lose it's right. the greatest it, right it's the it's, it's the ones that you're gonna see but when you're well this is more comfortable mm -hmm. but when you're 
out here and you're like, okay, what do I do? Yeah. Like, what is it that I need to do? And not that it's not great to be under like a father or mm -hmm. your husband or whatever. That it, it has, it's a very fine line. You can, yeah. you can, you know, branch off and, and do your, your own thing. And then still have a place, you know, in your home as a wife, as a mom, as a female. Mm -hmm. That's another thing that, you know, a lot of women go out there and we all think that, we talk about it with Chartel us all the time. We think that, um, oh, you know, the Me Too and mm -hmm. women, women, women. That's all great. Yeah. It is. It really is. It's all great. But it has a, it has a line. Mm -hmm. Okay. We are still women yeah. and we still have a place mm -hmm. and we're not men. Yeah. We are not men. Whatever it is that we can, we, what, what we do and how strong we are how, for women. You know, we can, we can be good, strong women without trying to take the role of a man. a man. Because a man is a man. I mean, it's just done, but God said so. Mm -hmm. You know, and when women come out and they're like, oh, what you can do, I can do better. No, we cannot. Mm -hmm. We cannot. We have a place, and I, I'm telling you, I feel so strongly about this. Like, I can sit here and I can move the truck forward and we're looking into opening up a, a restaurant and, oh, and taking it and you know to, to d different level but at the end of the day when I go home I'm still a female right you know I still have things that are are prone to females mm -hmm. you know and we grew up like that you know my dad like my mom was working too and we didn't we didn't like she, when she got home she worked you know my dad was in construction my mom was a seamstress she worked, but when she came home, she had to cook. She right. would not let my dad with, a, you know, with an apron. Well, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, you're doing the dishes. We didn't grow up like that, mm -hmm. so I don't, you know, there's a place for men and there's a place for women, no matter how strong the the women are. So right. those women out there who are listening to this and you're like, okay, you know, she has a food truck. What? Well, it doesn't matter what you have. Mm -hmm. It could be a food truck. You could be the CEO of whatever. Having something of your own mm -hmm. and writing your own check That's and right. writing and, 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 and making decisions with, you know, you can have help mm -hmm. from other people, but making ultimately the decision comes on your plate, whether you mess up, whether you excel, it was your decision. And I, I strongly suggest and, and advise women if they ask me about, should we do it? Okay. Just go whatever it is that you're passionate about. Even if you think that, you know, oh my God, it's such a competition. It's yeah. such a, do it. You don't know if you're going to be their competition. Mm -hmm. If you're sitting there and you're like, all these things, because I think a lot. I always tell Chartel this. I think things so much that I kill it. Ah. I do, like just thinking and thinking right. and thinking. So even thinking about the food truck like I was thinking of like oh my gosh you know so many food trucks out there why us why us got in it and it can tell you we became their competition right so whatever it is that you you have those fears in your mind like I'm not gonna eat this and why me and blah, do it right. because you don't know if what you have and what the strength is that you are mm -hmm. that you're not gonna those people that you think mm -hmm. are in position that you're not gonna overwhelm them right and take it over right that's so great advice that's that's what I, I, I say to, to whatever it is that you're passionate about mm -hmm. from a food truck to food to fashion to anything anything that's I think good. that school going back to school anything I think that women you know that's a strength that I think we have mm -hmm. and and it's we own it like women have it, men don't have it. They yeah. have other, they have other strengths. Right. But I think that go wherever you girls are, women, go do what you love to do, well, and be the boss. Absolutely. Be the boss. Of whatever well, I'm you're so doing. happy that you're the boss. No, thank you for having <laughs> yes, me. Yes, you're the boss of Greek Girl Goodies, and I want everybody to get a chance to learn more about your um, food truck and what you offer. So, where can you be contacted? If people want more information or maybe call you out to cater or anything like you that. Can, you can call me. Um, you can, oh, my, do I give my phone number? You can. Um, it's You can call, uh, reach me. I have a direct line. It's on the truck. It's 972-743-1649. Okay. Uh -huh. And we do a lot of events, you know, birthday parties, you know, private events, weddings. You know, we do we do all that stuff. So uh, You yeah. have a website too, right? Yes, it's Greek Girls Goodies. Um, 
it, it, that you know uh, dot com. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Are you on social media or anything? Yes, we're on Facebook, okay. and you know we 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 do that too. Yes. Okay. So just look for them at Greek Girl Goodies uh-huh. on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Hey, uh, working on it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, just Google them and you'll yes, find you everything. Can, yes. <laughs> and then you can reach me. You can call me anytime. I'm usually the phone is usually. You know, it's usually like attached to my hip, so okay. you can call me whenever. Oh, okay, well, perfect. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. in. Thank you for having me. Yes, so I really appreciate me. it. If you'd like to be featured in She Represents, then please go to our website. It's the BeatDSW.com. You'll also be featured in the Dallas Weekly. And this is all sponsored by She's Happy Hair. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks.